We are here with the man of the hour, Chris Peterson, the head coach of the Washington Huskies. Coach, thanks for stopping by the set. We appreciate it. I know it's been a busy week for you. Plenty of time to talk X's and O's later, but I want to know the best non-football thing you've done this week so far is what? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, it's either eating a steak that was about the size of me <laughs> <laughs> or being on the roller coaster at Disneyland. It was, it's all been wonderful. Like, I think that's the thing that has made this week really good is whatever we've done has just been really first class and uh, i think our guys have really appreciated it. our coaches have you can just feel it so everything that we've been a part of has been awesome it was great to watch you and miles <laughs> in that video by the way on the roller coaster you really looked like you were enjoying yourself <laughs> let me tell you it didn't do it justice because miles was scared to <laughs> death and i don't know what the video looked like but he was truly scared <laughs> Well, that being said, um, it's so fun to watch you guys in in so many different moments, right? Whether it's the roller coasters having fun or yeah. here at Media Days. When you talk to your players, do you talk to them about making sure they maximize the moments and go refocus and drop out and have fun? Refocus, right. drop out and have fun? That's exactly it. You know, that's really exactly it. And we've been, I've been proud of these guys because I think they've practiced pretty hard. N not since we've been here so much. We did a lot of hard work in Seattle. We've had a lot of practices up to this time, but we kind of reset, refocused, and they've worked hard. And then, you know, the the, ve the, the events they have for us, let, let's, I mean, this, this doesn't come around much. So let's enjoy them. And, and then when it's time for football, it's all in. No matter what happens on Tuesday in this game, this will be the last time that you get to go out and coach this particular group of young men, yeah. some of which, like JoJo McIntosh, who have been with you since day one in yeah. Seattle. From your perspective personally, what, what will the legacy of this group, and particularly the outgoing seniors, be in your mind? Yeah, I just, you know, I think this whole thing, you know, a program is a, is a slow build, and there's ebbs and flows throughout, uh, you know, any, any program over time. But I think, you know, since JoJo and, you know, many others, I think it's, you know, e each year's been a little bit more solid. I mean, no matter what the record is, it's just felt more solid. And, uh, and that's not easy to do, you know, and it comes out of the locker room. And so we just really appreciate all those guys. Uh, you know, even the guys that were before, that were here, before we got here that were part of us, that everybody had a hand in helping get us here. And we are looking forward to watching you guys play in this game. Is there video of you eating the steak as big as yourself? I would like to see that. If I there, mean, if there's exists. a picture of how big this steak was. <laughs> Caleb McGarry cut it. And I'm not kidding you, it was this thick and about this big. <laughs> and I thought he was going to give it to one of the linemen. And he gives it to me. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like eat it for the rest of my life? And how so, far did you get? Well, luckily, I had our strength coach, Tim Sawhaw, sitting next to me. So I cut out about a football-sized piece of steak and put it on his. And then I ate the rest, and I'm still full. It's a smart man right yeah, there. Yeah, it was, it was awesome, but All it right. was a lot. Chris Pearson, thanks so much for the time, and best of luck All on right, Tuesday. All right, guys. Thank you.